Howdy champs, my name is Mohitam guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a simple CSS layout. Guys, this folder that you see on the desktop, which is which says uh, my site is my local site folder and it's open in front of you and inside which guys we have another folder called images. If I were to open it and show it to you, it has four images. Let me show it to you. That's the first one, the second, that's third, and that's the fourth one. Anyway, so these four images are inside the images folder, and uh, which in turn is inside uh, my site, which is my local site folder. Okay, and let's begin uh, creating a simple layout, a CSS layout. Let's see how we can do that. Okay, I'm going to hit this button which says uh, create new HTML. Okay, guys, notice that I am in the classic workspace. Let me reset it. Okay, I am working in the classic workspace. At the same time, you can actually see that I am using the split view. The split view makes sure that you can see the design area, which is this black white space, as well as the, the code area. Okay, let me momentarily go to the code view, so you can just see the code. Okay and let me highlight line number five the moment i do that have a look here in the properties panel i'm then allowed to enter a title out here i can simply type simple css layout cool okay next guys what i'm gonna do is everything that is above the body tags does not actually show up in the design area so i'm gonna highlight this bit and i'm gonna hit this button Okay, which will collapse the selection. Okay, that makes it very easier, uh, easy for us to see and work. Right. Okay, let me go back to the split view. Let me save the file up. Let me call it uh, simple CSS layout. Cool. Right. Notice out here, guys, that the cursor is blinking in the body, within the body tags, right? And now, uh, I'm good to go. So the first thing that I wish to do is I need to create a wrapper, which should be centered on the page, left to right, okay? Which will contain a uh, few other uh, divisions or divs uh, sitting inside it. But uh, the first thing that we need is the main container, which we call the wrapper, okay? So I'm going to say insert layer objects div tag okay since this is the main container uh, very appropriately i'm going to call it wrapper because it's going to wrap everything up so that's a wrapper okay i'm going to hit this new css rule button okay automatically the pound sign is in inserted uh, before the wrapper guys and uh, dreamweaver is asking me where exactly i wish to uh, define all my rules if i say this document only it means that uh, I wish to define the rules uh, as an internal rule, but I, if I wish to keep it externally, if I wish to create a new external style sheet, I need to select the option which is new style sheet. Okay, then I'm going to say okay. And guys, I need to give my style sheet a name. So I can call it uh, layout CSS. And uh, simply hit the save button. Okay, then it's asking me to. Uh, define the wrapper so I'm gonna go to the box category guys I'm gonna define the width to be a 800 the height to be a 800 as well okay I need to also attach a background color I'm gonna choose uh, let's say uh, let's say uh, a pound sign triple nine cool uh, I'm going to go to the box category, guys, and I'm going to make sure that the left and right margins are set to auto. Now, when you do this, guys, it makes sure that the div of the division actually centers itself left to right. And we'll soon see that. I'm going to hit the OK button. I'm going to hit the OK button once again. I'm going to remove this text out here in the division. Okay. I'm going to take a preview after saving the changes in Opera. Let's save the changes to the simple CSS layout as well. Okay, and here comes the preview, guys. Okay, I'll tell you why I exactly went into Opera. That's because you have the zoom slider, and you can zoom in 
and zoom out quite easily to see the layout. Okay, so that is how the layout looks like right now. Pretty cool. But guys, if you have a look out here, there's the space of uh, five pixels, that white space that probably you won't, you might not uh, want. See, I'm here at 100%. Uh, you can see this white space out here. Not only that, there's this white space out here at the bottom as well. So what if you don't want that? Uh, there's a way to actually counter that too. What you can do is you can actually go to modify page properties and uh, you can set the top margin to a zero okay and uh, a bottom margin to a zero as well right and then you can straight away say okay guys notice that we have a body rule uh, created out here what i can do is i can straight away rub this body out here into the the external css uh, style sheet and uh, and then I can delete this tag and if I were to have a look inside the layout css.css file let me go to the code view guys so the body has a top margin of 0 and a bottom margin of 0 and uh, these are the various properties for the wrapper okay the result is something that I'm gonna see in a moment in uh, Opera okay so let me just uh, zoom out a little bit this I'm zooming uh, at 80% guys you can actually see that the white space that was out here has completely disappeared if I go to 100% and if I go down out here there's no white space here at the bottom as well so everything is taken care of beautiful beautiful right uh, let me go to the source code again and uh, guys notice out here that the cursor is blinking within the wrapper which is exactly what I want to do okay I'm going to insert one more div. I'm going to say insert layer objects div tag and this div I'm going to call header. Okay. I'm going to hit the new CSS rule button. I beg your pardon. It's, it's called header. Okay. I'm going to hit the new CSS rule button guys. Uh, you can actually see that the rule is uh, being inserted uh, inside the layout css.css external style sheet which is just what the doctor ordered which is perfect i'm gonna say okay and uh, notice out here the entry out here under the css uh, panel okay i'm gonna go to the box category guys i'm gonna go to the width section and i'm gonna insert a width of 800 which is the width of the wrapper as well i'm gonna insert a height of 200 uh, I know for sure that the height of my header is 800. I'm going to set the float to none. I'm going to set the clear to a none. Whether I mention something or not, it's always float none, clear none, guys, by default. But uh, just to make you understand things, I'm setting the float as well as clear to none. Right. And then I'm going to go to the background uh, category, guys. I'm going to select a background image for the header. Okay, I'm going to go inside my images folder. I'm going to select... Uh, the float none image. I want to make sure it does not repeat itself. Okay, I'm gonna say okay, and uh, I'm gonna say okay once again. And guys, I'm gonna delete the text out here. I'm gonna save things up. Have a look in uh, Opera. Let's see how it actually looks like right now. Okay, let me zoom out for you. Okay, pretty, pretty good. Okay, so far so good. Let me go back to Dreamweaver, guys, and. Uh, Next, guys, I need to insert a left tip. Okay, this is a simple CSS layout which will have a, a footer, it will have a header, uh, it will have a left, uh, left sidebar, it will have a right sidebar. Okay, so it will have a left div and a right div as well. Okay, I'm going to go say insert, I'm going to say uh, layer objects, I'm going to say div tag, and this time, guys, I'm going to make sure that it's after tag, after which tag, after the header tag, I'm going to say left div very appropriately okay i'm gonna hit the new css rule button okay guys make you can see that it's going inside the layout css.css file which is perfect i'm gonna say okay okay and then guys i'm gonna define the width i know for sure that the left uh, div is 300 by 400 okay make sure you left load the div guys okay let it be uh, set to clear none whether you mention something or not it's always clear none okay make sure it's, it's floating left guys right and then uh, let's go to the background uh, category let me select the background image I'm gonna select this one which says I'm floated left 
okay I'm gonna make sure that it's uh, set to no repeat I'm gonna say okay and uh, so okay once again let's have a look in Opera once again okay let me delete the text I don't need the text and have a look out here inside the body tags we have the wrapper which has the header and then we have the left div guys okay so let's take a preview in uh, Opera guys after saving the change to the simple CSS.CSS all right so let me zoom out for you okay so that's the way things look like right now so far so good okay right let me go back to dreamweaver guys after which i'm gonna say insert uh, layer objects div tag i'm gonna make sure it's after tag after which tag is after the left div i'm gonna say right div okay i want another div being floated right this time I'm going to click on the new CSS rule button and it's going inside layout CSS.CSS which is fine. It's called pound sign right div or hash right div which is fine. I'm going to say OK guys. I'm going to go to the box category. I'm going to make sure that the width is 500 simply because I know it. OK. The height is 400. I've done my calculations earlier. This one is loaded right guys. OK. And uh, it'll be set to clear none which is all right. Let me go to the background uh, category and uh, select the background image, which is this one, which says uh, I'm floated right. Size is 500 by 400. Uh, I want to say OK. Make sure it does not repeat itself. Set it to no repeat. I want to say OK. And uh, OK once again. OK, delete the text out here. All right, let me go to Opera, take a preview after saving the changes to the CSS file. Cool. Let me zoom out for you, and this is the way things look like right now. I just have one footer to insert, guys. So this one is floated left, this one is floated right, and this one, the float has been set to none. Cool. Let me go back to Dreamweaver, guys. There we go. <coughs> this time, I'm going to say insert layer objects, div tag. Okay and after tag after which tag guys can you tell me yes after the right div guys i'm gonna make sure that i insert the footer all right i'm gonna click on the new css rule button i'm gonna make sure that the rule will be defined inside layout css.css external style sheet is fine i'm gonna say okay i'm gonna make sure that the width is 800 okay uh the height is a 200 okay okay guys let's let's play around i'm gonna say 100 percent i know that the wrapper is 800 pixels i'm gonna set the height in terms of percentage which is absolutely all right guys you can do that too okay but this time the float is set to none okay but the clear is set to both now this is extremely 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 important guys it's, it's got to clear both the devs okay you can't um, I keep it at uh, clear left clear right it should be clear about it, it can't be none as well this is very important this will make sure if it was set to nothing like this okay what will happen the the footer would go and sit behind okay under uh, the left and the right devs we don't want that it's extremely important guys that you set it to clear both okay and uh, going to the background uh, category I'm gonna select the image for this one so this is the one that I need I'm gonna set it to no repeat I'm gonna say okay I'm gonna say okay once again and I'm gonna take a preview in Google uh, preview in Opera okay after saving the changes to the CSS file guys I'm gonna zoom out for you and this is the way things look like right now wonderful so guys this is how you actually create a simple CSS layout okay in uh, Dreamweaver okay this is the CSS uh, file guys let me open it up for you let's just browse through it uh, quickly let me go to the code view guys okay quickly reiterate the body has a top uh, margin of 0 a bottom margin of 0 the wrapper is 800 by 800 the left and right margins uh, have been set to auto that makes sure that the wrapper is centered left right okay uh, we have the header guys which is set to clear or none float none okay high 200 with 800 for the left div guys I'm making sure 
that the clear is none but the float is left okay for the right div the clear is none but the float is right and it's extremely important guys that we have clear both set to the footer although the float is none which is perfectly all right the width has been set to 100 percent and the result is before you there you go okay so guys i hope you like this tutorial enjoyed it too and i hope to see you very soon with yet another uh, dreamweaver tutorial could be flash with action structure you have a good day bye bye peace